today we will be talking about general second degree equation so the general second degree equation is a x square so when we put it back x in bracket we will assume that we have taken square of it in this case a x square plus 2 h x y plus b x square y square plus it's a long equation, so let me just stretch this. Plus 2gx plus 2fx plus c is equal to 0. So this is the general says second degree equation, which gives us the, which depending on the values of a, uh, a, h, g, f, c gives us the, equation for different conic sections this line represents a parabola when h square is equal to a b and delta let's just call it symbolize it by d is not equal to zero so for the not is not equal to zero same thing this equation represents a circle similarly when the value of h square is less than a b and delta is not equal to zero this will represent an ellipse and when h square is greater than AB and delta is not equal to zero we will call this to be a hypo this equation will represent a hyperbola I previously made a mistake this equation will represent a parabola and the equation of a circle is given when H is equal to zero and E is equal to B and on top of that another condition that is there is b is equal to zero this is going to give us a circle and for a pair of straight lines we know that h is e equal to zero b is equal to zero and a is also equal to zero so let's just write it down h equal to b equal to a equal to b equal to a zero so this is the important one is equal to a zero gives you a pair of straight lines not a pair but it shows it gives you the equation of a straight line I hope you enjoyed this video and in the next videos we will individually look at these conic sections and learn about their properties. Thank you.